All right, so now you should have Office Mix installed. And what you see here, I have a PowerPoint pulled up. This is a previous PowerPoint I did with my freshman classes, uh, World History. And you can use Office Mix with any new PowerPoint you want to make, any old PowerPoint you have. And what you'll notice, if you look up here at your tabs, you should now have a new one that says Mix. And so, as I said, it's just an add-in for PowerPoint. It's a little addition to that. And what's great about Office Mix is it allows you to record you can do video or audio over a particular slide and you can do it over you know, every slide that you want or just pick a few slides or things of that nature. And so I want to show you this because you might want to use it for your Maryville Matters topic because you could go through and just record what it is you want to talk about. And that may help you if you're the type of person who gets nervous, you know, public speaking and doing it all live. You could record and if you mess up, just re-record. And then you can show us really good images and just talk over what we're seeing in your images. So <clears throat> what you do to record is just come here under the mix tab and you click the record button and it's going to take you to a different screen. It's going to show you the slide you're on. So if I record, this is slide it's going to put it on. And over on the right, you need to pay attention to a couple things here. First off where it says no camera. Uh, you have the option because your laptops have cameras built into them. You can actually pull that down and you will have an option for your webcam. So if you turn that on, then when you record, it'll actually do a video recording. And so it will put your video recording like in the corner and you can move it around if you want when you're done. Uh, but it'll put it kind of tuck it away in a corner. And studies have shown that people tend to retain more information if they see you when you're talking as well, instead of just hearing you. So you might want to consider doing that. It's a really good technique. But otherwise, you can just keep it at no camera and it will just record your audio. Now, the other thing you need to look for is uh, your microphone and what you want to make sure mine is a particular microphone I have plugged into my computer. Yours will not look this way. But what you want to do is just kind of talk to your, you know, just talk out loud and make sure that this little bar is moving. See how mine moves as I talk. If yours is not moving, here's what you need to do. You need to click on microphone options. And what that's going to do, it's going to pop up a little box with your different recording devices. Now, again, yours is going to look different. You're going to have one. I think it's your bottom one. Maybe you only have two listed and it will say something like microphone array. And so what you're going to do, I'm going to I'm going to do the same steps here, but you'll do it to the one that says microphone array. You're going to right click on it and choose properties. And when you choose properties, it's going to bring up the properties for that specific microphone. And you're going to go to levels. And more than likely, if you weren't seeing these bars over here, it's because. Click that to uncheck it, and now your microphone should be working. Also, check your level here. Make sure it's not all the way to the left. You want it, you know, upwards in the around the 80s or so, somewhere around there. You can go a little higher. And just make sure it's not muted, then click OK and click OK, and now you should be good with your microphone working. Now, you're probably noticing these tools over here. These allow you to draw on your uh, on your slide. So, for instance, these are three different sizes or thicknesses. And these are different colors, so I could come here and, you know, draw. Actually, I'll do it while I'm recording, actually. So uh, I'll show you that in just a moment when I record. So here's the way it works. <clears throat> in order to record, you just simply come up and click the record button. You'll see the red marching ants moving around. That lets you know that you're recording. So if you see those red marching ants, that's the term you know, people use for that, then that lets you know you're in recording mode. So I'm recording right now. And again, you know, I've got my tool uh, over here that I can select on my color. So I could say, now, if you look at him right here, here's an example of a rich guy who favors a monopoly, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So when you're done recording, you simply hit the stop button and it will take it a second and it will save it. And then if you want to play it back, you just simply click on preview re slide recording. You'll see the red marching ants moving around that lets you know that you're recording. So if you see the Okay, and you probably notice you maybe could hear in the background it was playing back. Now, if you don't like it, you can hit, simply hit delete slide recording and say delete this one and just record again. And then you record again. March against. Here we are recording. Blah, blah, blah. You should read the jungle. I used to give my students extra credit if they had the guts to read the jungle. It's one of those books that was one of the most important books in American history uh, as far as it really changed 
uh, the way we do some things, but it's also one of those books, if you read it, you may never eat a hot dog again. So in any case, uh, when you're done, just hit stop. If you like it, you know, you hit record or preview, excuse me, you hit preview and you like it, all you have to do is close it. And you'll notice you now have a little audio file up here and that's you recording uh, the, you know, the part you just did. And so simply just go to whatever slides you want to record on. So you want to record on this one, go to your mix tab, click record and off you go. So again, this may be a really cool tool for you to use for doing your presentation because you could, like we talked about, if giving an oral presentation, you don't want a lot of words, but we want a lot of pictures or big pictures. So for instance, you could just take a really big picture, fill out the screen and then record yourself talking about what we're seeing. Here's me doing my memorable matters project, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So that's all there is to it as far as working in mix. Uh, when you're done, there are some steps to um, export it as video. And we'll kind of walk you through that in a separate video, what you can do with it in that case. So good luck using it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, but also know that you can go to YouTube and just type in like Office Mix tutorial or how to Office Mix, and you will find a whole bunch of videos that walk you through all the different things you can do. So if you have any questions, as always, just let me know and good luck.